Come on, let's go. Okay, what's going on here, people? Why is she crying? He's gone. Who's gone? Tiny Tim's gone. Who's Tiny Tim? He's Tiny Tim. Whoa. This looks like a suicide. Really? Obviously, to me, it smells like, oh, we need a light a candle. But you're going to have to do it. I have a crab claw, and I can't. Why do I hire these people? That smells way better. Who are you? I'm J-Dog. So, what's your side story? What are you talking about? The murder. Murder? Suicide. That? Yeah, Shh. that. That's happened like four weeks ago. Why didn't y'all report it? We don't have a phone. Then how do y'all do anything around here? Smoke signals. What's that? It's the European handbag. No, not that. That. Oh, um, it's a butcher knife you used to kill people with. What? What? You, what? Why do you wear a mask? Because I'm bald! And I'm sensitive! Hey, you forgot your keys. <laughs> okay, first question. Where's his head? Oh, man, yeah. I think it's right there. Right where? That chicken right there. Wait, you're sitting on something. Sitting on something. Yeah. You think that's his head? I don't know. What are you doing? Fudge. We need to bag the murder weapon. We can't bag the murder weapon. All of these chickens won't fit in the bag. I'm not talking about that, idiot. Here, use this. Use that. Really? Really? You want me to unravel a bag, really? Idiot. What'd you Gosh. do to your hand anyways? Okay, it was a lobster accident. Don't talk about it. Here. Oh. Let's see, let's see. Let's Oops, see. I forgot my number. Don't touch that! Why? It's a murder weapon. Wouldn't that be the murder weapon? Don't question my authority. Whatever! Are you done yet so I can clean this off? Go ahead and clean it. Gosh. Okay, fine. Ah, it's in my boot! No! It's in my boot! It's in my boot! Come here! Ah, no! No, oh, it's nasty! Oh! You saved my life. You owe me, Crackclaw. Where did his other leg go? Um, oh, there it is. But where's his arms at? <laughs> oh, Chief isn't gonna be happy about this. Um... I need to finish cleaning off his blood. We're missing something. I'm sorry, chickens. We're gonna have to take you downtown for questioning. Hey, there's only three body parts. Oops. Well, we'll just tell Chief that um, they only have three. <laughs> okay. There's only one way to solve this. There's no way to solve this. You cannot talk to his ghost. Well, He's dead. You can. I mean, of course, you can talk to Elvis. But that doesn't count, because the king never dies. Well, there is one guy we can go. He's a leader in ghostology. What's ghostology? The study of ghosts. You see, people believe that there are spirits and demons out there that they can track and listen to and talk to all the time. This guy, he's been in several major films to Ghostbusters was one of them. You see, he's a real close friend. He lives right here. Let's go in and see. Let's go. Now, we gotta be careful. He's kind of a kook. Joe? Who is this Joe? Do you know where we can find him? Joe died. Years ago. Years? See? We see just you. talked to him yesterday. Oh. Well, go get him. Get who? Joe. Oh. Okay. Joe, get in here! Oh, hey, man, what's going It's a long story, don't, don't go ask. On, on. You know him? Yeah. I, I, Who's this guy? Yeah, I, I, he's a friend of Steve's. 
Steve, where is Steve? Steve's right, right there. Oh, oh, duh, camera. Come in, guys, come in. Okay, so now we're going to establish talking to Tiny Tim's ghost. Okay. Whoa, green beans? It's ringing. Shh. Can connection. I need to go. I, I really need to go. Then go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Okay. All right. Hold on, it's ringing. Hello? I got something. Hello? Who is this? No, you tell me who you are first. Who is this? No, seriously, tell me who you are. Hello, can you hear me? No, no, you tell me who you are first. You tell me who this is. Let me see that can now. I'm not telling you who you are. You, who I am? Tell me who you are. Who is this? Put Tiny Tim back on the phone. Ask him if his refrigerator's running. <laughs> is, <laughs> is your refrigerator running? Yes, my refrigerator's running. You better go catch it. You're dead now. Why do you? You're a dead guy. Why are you telling jokes? Whatever. No. Tiny Tim, send us a sign. Where'd he go? Well, that's useless. Wait, we'll fill out. <gasps> Footprints. Let me see them. I am the scientist over here. They look like a man and a woman's. About size half. Uh, I say those look like butler shoes and high heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Butler shoes and high heels. Let's see. Tiny Tim. His wife wore high heels all the time. They did have a butler. Hmm. Is there any connection between them two? Pay attention! Unless... Steve, pay attention! Unless... They must have a connection. A connection. They had an affair! The butler and the wife had an affair. Shut up, you're a moron. Fine, the butler the last and the wife I... had an affair. Of course. It must have been. Yes. I just said that. No, you didn't. No, you're a retard, you can't. Fine. They must have planned you know this. You know what, I quit, I quit. You know what, I never had a crab claw. You lied. I quit. Get out of here, walk. Hmm. So we know who our suspects are. But why would they kill him? Tiny Tim was a very psychological man. From my analysis of the crime scene and the footprints, he was innocent. He was looking outside, pondering life's questions, when all of a sudden he heard some footprints come in. <coughs> they came in from behind him. He had no idea what to do. They picked up a flask water. Took two of them to do it because it's so big. They killed him. Poor guy never saw it coming. <laughs>